Your healing tools, your intuitive voice. This is Coloring the Zebra, Conversations of Consciousness, and I'm your host, Allie. Today I am interviewing Rebecca Tolk about her beautiful and imaginative artwork, diving into how she uses artificial intelligence, or AI, to create it. All right, so this is Allie with Zebra Remedies, and today I'm here with Rebecca. It's Tolk, right? That's the right way to say that. Thank you. And she's going to be sharing with us about her magical content membership, which I'm really excited because I've been following Rebecca's work for a while on my Facebook feed. And a lot of her imagery, which is AI induced or AI created, um, it has spoken to me in some very healing ways. And our whole channel and our whole concept has been about healing and growth. And um, the number one thing that we talk about is how healing and growth happens from many different modes. There is no sort of one way. Um, And since your art speaks to me, I thought it would be just wonderful to have a little powwow with you about your world and what you're sharing over here. So thank you for being with us. Um, So I I wanted to say that you're a self-employed artist, and I think that that's a really wonderful place to be. I think it operates from a place of deep passion um, to be self-employed and to kind of run your your own show and walk your own walk. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what your support system looks like that empowers you to keep that going? Okay, that's an interesting question. Um, well, I mean, it's ebbed and flowed and changed. I've been doing it for about 30 years. So, um, my current support, I would say is my partner, um, my life partner. He, um, he uh he's very supportive of me you know following my dreams and exploring and um i mean he also does what he loves in his business um but he gives me a lot of room and space to explore um while he kind of takes care of the more grounded you know life things so that's really nice um i have um I have uh, some people I've brought onto my team that help me with the things I'm not as good at, the, you know, backend development, um, some of the content writing. Um, and I'm always looking, you know, as I grow older and grow more into myself, I'm, you know, constantly looking at the things I love to do and and what I, you know, want to be doing for the second half of my life, I'm about to turn 49. So it's like, you know, what do I really want to do with the rest of it? And how do I want to focus on it? And even as I grow, I notice that the type of art and where the art comes from and, you know, the things I want to do even changes and how I want to interact with my community and my, um, you know, client base and So I think I'm getting a little off topic, but, you know, it's like the support is constantly changing as I change and learn and become more self-aware of what I want. And for me, it's, you know, letting go of more of the business. Like I still love having a business and running a business and being an entrepreneur, Um, but I'm learning, especially as we grow more into like a global community since for me, since quarantine, it's like the world opened up here on Zoom for me. And I have met so many people who live everywhere and have all these skills. And um, so I totally lost my train of thought. But uh, so yeah, the, the more I learn about myself, um, the more I'm recognizing I want to bring in more like backend support and technical support and let go of the, like the minutia of the business that I used to love. You know, I used to love all of the aspects when I was younger, but now I think I want to focus more on the creativity and the, um, you know, being the CEO and the, uh, the idea generator. I'm looking for implementers. I, yeah. Yeah. I really liked your um, your your concept that you were working with there about the communal aspect of the the way you're uh, affecting your community, but also the way you're utilizing and working with your community to create something that you're passionate about. Um, that's something that really speaks to me. 
uh, because I think that that's sort of the key to balance within our communities is that we all hear each other and work with each other where we're at in life individually and sort of acknowledge each other's magic of of our own way of approaching life right and you have your heart you have your your absolute radiance for a reason so thank you for sharing that with us (laughs) you're welcome Uh, um yeah I just absolutely love that um how did you come up with the idea for the AI art specifically um so it was interesting I mean everything happens for a reason I believe um and I also have always noticed in my photo because I'm a photographer that's what I started with when I was 19 um and I've been doing up until now um I always how do I I never really like um consciously like chose the next step like I started photographing women like portraits of women then I photographed kids then it was weddings then it was fine art nature photography you know like it 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 kept shifting and I saw after the fact that those things were there to teach me right like I photographed women when I was first starting and becoming a woman when I was 19 and you know, I I was in this entrepreneur women's group who they were all older than me. They were helping me get my business started. And I learned so much about being a successful entrepreneur, entrepreneurial female, you know, then kids. I learned or solidified that I didn't want kids, you know, like I love kids and their magic, but I like knew like, and then the the weddings. I mean, I learned so much about commitment and relationship. It's like it just kept happening, but I didn't. It's like my art and my business like was pulling me along for the ride. Mm-hmm. I mean, even and you'll love this. Like when I started, when I turned towards um, fine art, nature photography, I was focusing on like the little details, like the blades of grass and the tiny little weeds. And at the time, I didn't know much about. Um, herbalism. I mean, I had always been drawn to natural medicine and chose it when I could, but um, I didn't know much. So I started researching to learn like, what is this little blade of grass I photographed? And what is this little, you know, chickweed plant that, you know, or the violets? And I started, I educated myself on herbal medicine, on plant use, on, um, I mean, it was amazing. So if I were a, a, a book learner, I, I would have gone to herbalism school. You know, if I could have like focused, like I have ADD, so I can't really focus on, but it was like a real, it was really cool. So anyways, a, um, you know, fast forward to now, I was um, the last few years focusing on photo impressionism, which is this kind of work. And I was getting a little bit into one of my ruts where I was like, okay, I've been doing this for a few years. I love it, but you know what, when you're like creating stuff and you just, I mean, you love it, but, but you need like the next thing or. You're literally being called to evolve. You know, it's, it's in you. It's like, we have this biological function. It's that intuitive brain. And it's, it's always pulling us toward a state of thriving. So its job is to say, it's time to level up, you know, here we go and, and get us there. And I, I totally appreciate that call. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It was like, I was getting bored. I mean, I love this stuff, but I was getting bored, which was a weird, confusing thought. Sure. But, um, but so I was on Facebook one day and a friend of mine that I follow, um, started posting these amazing artworks and I was just floored and I just, dove right in I messaged her I checked her out I saw what she was doing and she was working with mid-journey AI and um I just she did a couple demos she tagged some people she learned from like I was just all in like I just that's all I did and I think that was I mean it wasn't like it was two or three months ago like I mean I just dove head first like out of that boredom into something exciting and um you know, I figured out how to get into mid journey, which was on discord, which was a whole nother thing for me to figure out. Like, but it was like, I was driven. And so I went in and, um, it was amazing for, for me. I started noticing that, um, and I wrote a a blog about this. Maybe you had read it. Um, 
that creating the AI art was helping me express my feelings in a way that I had never really done before with my photography. For me, this stuff is about capturing the beauty of the natural world, um, you know, creating the magic in it that I see and feel when I'm in this forest. You know, this isn't what it really looked like. This is a, you know, impressionistic view of it. But my art rarely was about what was going on inside in my inner world. I mean, of course, this is a reflection as all outer is, but the AI I started using in a way to express my inner world, which I'd never really done and always wondered how artists do that. Like I, it never connect, you know, it just, it wasn't that time. Until you're there, it's not something you're really connected to all the way. You know, you've got to have all the pieces that start aligning you to where you're going. And yeah. We're yeah. on time. <laughs> We're on time. And yeah. oh. <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah. That can be sometimes. <laughs> We're on time. Yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. That is lovely. Yeah. How has that healed you? What is what has changed in you over that experience of then and now and reflection and I don't know if I have all that information yet. I think it's probably still downloading. Sure, um, every day, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, what it's done is it's, so of course for me being a, a business owner, it's like, I go to that first. Like that's how I relate to my world, you know? Like, um, so I immediately saw these the the wealth of images coming out that I was creating and the way the AI works is, you know, like I have a, a goal in mind and you, a lot of images are created on the way to that goal. So I have like a lot of these images that are beautiful, but it wasn't what I was wanting to say. And so I had, so I got to what I wanted to say for my art, but then I had all these other images and I was like, I'm not trashing them. Like they're beautiful. I mean, there were definitely trash ones, you know, but then there were all these like kind of these other beautiful images. And that's where I got the idea to create the content membership. And in a way, I put, which this is my habit, like I put my own art on hold because it was like, oh, I have this business idea. I'm going to jump in and I'm going to create it and I'm going to serve people and I'm going to, you know, like it's going to be the next thing. And so, so to answer your question, I'm not quite sure. Cause like I was diving into it in the beginning. And I think that's when you got really interested when you were following a lot of those things. And then I like shifted over to creating the membership. And now I've been working on the back end and the ads and the, you know, organization. And I've hired some associate artists. Like I'm really excited in that. Do you imagine that you're going to come back into yourself in, in, a, in a soon phase where where it sort of unites again and yeah. you know, takes itself to another step and another, another way forward? Yeah, I think it's like I always need to create some grounding for myself before I like can go out and make the art. So I think I found something amazing and now it's like, okay, let's create some structure and some grounding and then I can, you know, go out and make more but it's also about balance like I'm also learning okay yeah you can focus on building this thing but you need to take a break and just make your own art you know like let's so it's also like a lesson it always is yeah <laughs> yes for sure yeah. yeah yeah I feel that um in my own you know I'll get really focused on doing artwork for someone else uh, or doing projects for doing someone else and I go a little crazy in 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 a little part of my brain somewhere that's just like hey you haven't really sat outside in nature in seven days like <laughs> you haven't like breathed in fresh air outside of these walls in yeah. seven days you know like you should go outside <laughs> and yes. be and just do you whatever yeah. you is right now you need to do you and um, and I feel that and I I think that's really what spoke to me about the art that you were sharing um there was one particular one that uh a post that you'd done about um sort of like earthly bodies and oh, yeah, that's oh, a good Wow, those were incredible. I'll have to make sure that we share them as part of this this posting. Um, and maybe we could pull out a couple of um of really beautiful posts that I've seen over this uh, to post along yeah. with this. Um, yeah, sure. 
but oh I just really appreciated how there was a majesty in the communication of of the imagery of sort of like there were actual entities communicating in this imagery um as well as your entity communicating with this imagery and it was it was really profound when um when I think that you brought sort of your cyclical being Mm. In, into it like that and every one of your posts you know I read them so I'm sure that's part of why I resonate with the with the photos that you put up that mm-hmm. this imagery that you're putting up has um a direct link to your personal growth and I've you know for however long I've followed you which has been a while it's um it's clearly what I'm drawn to in in you as is part of the journey that you're on um and so I just I really uh I don't know, something about it just really went poof for me and opened my eyes. So I really appreciate that you're doing this. And, and then you're growing yourself publicly is hard. And and you're talking about that business growth. And sometimes, like we said, it doesn't really feel like aligning with that, yeah. that vulnerability. Um, but, but how profound to maybe tweak business a little bit out in the real world and, and get a little bit more human side into things and obviously being your own employer can help make that happen for you. Yeah. Yeah. And it's interesting. I was writing more when I was using the AI for my own art. Like I haven't (laughs) been writing as much. Like now the posts are more like, you know, check out the membership. You know, I mean, it's really cool art, but it's not as, it's not part of the personal journey. So it'd be interesting to see if I can tie the two together, maybe. Yeah. The, the earth bodies are not in the membership. Those are in my print store. Like those are my fine art. So I'm also recognizing how to separate, you know, the things that are really personal expression are, um, you know, my fine art print shop, there'll be NFT soon, you know, that'll be my art. And then the membership is, is a different expression. Okay. It's maybe it's more of, you know, like, I'm not sure, but and it's very intuitive, but like a lot of my community are coaches and healers and magical people and magic makers. And so those are more like what I'm putting in the membership, like, so they can use them for content that resonate. Is that something that you're um, openly talking to those people about, you know, that this is, is content that you can go forward with and, and share further? Um, that's beautiful. You want to, do you, do you have your breakdown of what your, um, I just had it. Your magical content membership. Um, yeah. You have your breakdown of what that entails, and and can yeah. you tell us all a little bit about that offering and and what people would get for that. Sure, sure, sure. Um, well, really, on a very simplified level, it's a it's a uh, it's stock art. So you know, like our brains understand that it's art that you can use, you know, to promote yourself. So, but it's um, it's magical um stock art the the theme is very magical um there's a lot of um and i can do a screen share if you want and, and show oh, you into yeah. the membership um but so really the membership it's 29 dollars a month and it's um it's for um online use of any of the artwork so on your posting on your website on your blogs um where else online? I mean, all the social media channels, you know, on your Facebook banners. So you can really use the art anywhere um, for your podcast um, launches, all the things. Um, And there's like add-ons inside the membership that you can pay, like if you want to use the art to create merchandise or like sell, like make money off of it, reproduce it. A lot of people are interested in turning the art into tarot cards. Oh, I could do that. I know, right? They're very magical. So one of the associate artists, um, Christy, she specializes in in tarot cards, which I'm so excited I found her. She's really great. Um, So we already have people coming in and and buying those. Um, There's, um, so there's there's different add-ons for different use cases. And as we grow, it's kind of, it's transforming. And the more I listen to what people want, the more I'm creating offerings that can serve that does that make sense sure it's got to evolve with you and and obviously your audience yes yeah yeah beautiful and you had mentioned to me that you have a couple other offerings as far as subscription rates go 
<laughs> right now, um, well, right now the membership's 29. If you, um, for the Facebook ads I'm running, and I guess if anyone watching this, oh, I could give you the link for it. Um, yeah. It's a sample gallery. Oh, so that is just three ninety nine. I mean, it's like a no brainer. If you're interested, you know, it's like nothing. And you get 30 artworks that you can use right away for all your online posting. The only difference is it's got my little logo, you know, on the bottom. Um, inside the membership, it doesn't have my logo and you don't have, well, you never have to tag me. I mean, I tell people if you want to, I love to see what you're doing, but you know, you can make it your own and, and have your own expression. And okay. So the main membership is a lot like, like, uh, I use epidemic sound for getting a lot of audio and, um, I pay my 29, you know, whatever it is a month. Yep. Um, and I never have to uh, tag back. I never have to mention yep. who, who produced the music. I'm hitting my laptop here. I never have to mention who produced the music. I never have to uh, worry about whether or not it's going to get taken down from somewhere. Um, yeah. Okay. Wonderful. What do you do to protect the images from getting taken down? Are you just making sure that you're not flagging them on the internet for removal? Or is there something more that you have to do to protect them that you know of? I have no idea. Oh. I mean, <laughs> I educate me. I mean, like I, as far as I know there, you know, if you're in the membership, you can use them um, right. and they're yours to use however you want within the, the, the boundaries. So like it's online use. If you want to do resale, like make the tarot cards and you have to pay for that. Okay. Um, and there's, and you can't make NFTs with them. Okay. Um, and the, and you like you can't sell it as your own artwork like you can't go out and make wall art from it like right. those are the only limitations but it's for it's for spiritual business owners you know heart-centered business owners so it's it's to use inside your business wonderful um but yeah I haven't had any problems yet with any I mean there's a certain amount of trust like I mean I'm just I decided early on like I'm in a trust Absolutely. You know, I mean, people can take the artwork off my Facebook page and go share it on their page. You know, like I'm just going to trust because I can't get too neurotic about it. And mm. well, we're here to ignite one another, regardless yeah. of how it happens, right? Like, yeah, that's, that's ultimately what it's about, and that is ultimately what it's about for you. And while you are someone yeah. who has bills to pay and has to take care of life, like any <laughs> human. Also, it's a gift that it ignites out in the world, which I think is why you've shared it for free on Facebook and things like that. And, you know, and had that, um, that a deep appreciation of connection behind it all. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and, and honestly, my train of thought was, uh, because sometimes my music gets flagged when I, when I use like the free versions of stock image, uh, sorry, stock music. Um, I get flagged all the time when I use like Pixabay music. And it drives me nuts because I don't get my images flagged. But I was just curious if you were seeing any of that. I think there's flag. I think they flag music more than images. Yeah. I mean, unless it's, you know, porn images, you know, like I, I don't think they're looking for. I think they're looking for music more. Sure. Yeah. I think yeah. With reels and everything. So I've never had an image flagged. Um, and none of my members have had any trouble with that. Um, right. Some of my members tag me, some don't, which is totally fine. Um, a lot of them put it into Canva and put their own little like logo or tag, you know, on the images and they put their, the title of their business. Um, How have you seen people using yeah. it? You, you mentioned the type of um, businesses that are using it, but have you seen anything really magical come out with, uh, with some of your amazing pieces that you've done? Well, I'm really excited. One of my newest members, she actually is going to use it for inspiration for her paintings. Oh, so, I know. I'm really excited. I was like, when you have a finished painting, like, let's do a case study, you know, let's take some pictures and do an interview. She was very excited about that. So that's a little like kind of off brand use. Like I wasn't even thinking about that. Um, one member said uh, she just wants to be a member for inspiration. She's not a business owner. So I've had that. Um, I have like one member used a Facebook banner. I've seen a lot of Instagram posts with their little Canva layout over it. Um, a logo inside the membership, you can um, buy a custom logo session. So I have a member who did a logo for her new um, physical um, 
store. It's like a new age crystal shop. Um, so she's actually having it printed on the huge banner, you know, for the, like the, the, on her brick and mortar. So that's really exciting. Um, yeah, all kinds of, I'm just thinking there's, um, I said podcast logo tarot cards. We talked about those are, those are new. We just added those. So, um, we just had our first, um, sign up for that. So I, I don't have any samples of that yet but you know in a few months when the deck is done we'll be able to show that um what else um I don't know that's that's a a lot of just posts like web you know putting on their website like landing pages um a lot of members are saying like so that so there's kind of two ways to use it like like some people know what they want like they they do their writing they have their downloads you know they know their message but they haven't been able to find the the mystical art to match it so they find it there you know like they're just like oh that's exactly it and you know where they haven't been able to find it on the other sure like i can only get basic stock imagery when i go out you know to look for that stuff and yeah yeah so yeah, I have a lot of, <laughs> yes. And they're like, Oh my God, there's so much. Like, I just like, like everything I need is right here. And I add new artwork every month. I usually have like a hundred new images each month. So, you know, and then I have other members who come in and they're like, I don't really know what I'm doing yet. And they're, they're in there looking for the inspiration. And I kind of think of it, you know, how, when you, um, like just, open a book to a page like one of your like magical books and that's the page you needed to read that day yeah some people use it like that they're like they just go in and they're like which one calls that one and then and then they it just connects them to their information like to what they want to write about to what inspires them so it's it's like you can go in from both ends and explore I used to do these journals. Uh, I had a teacher in high school inspire me to do them where we would cut out images, take photos, whatever imagery we wanted. And I would also use fabric. And then I would decoupage the, the cover of this of the journal. And then on the inside pages, um, I would find an image that spoke to me and I would glue it in on a page and I would spend 10 minutes just writing about it. And my journals, I still have them today. They're absolutely magnificent because they're just so soulful and artistic and there's so much there's so much vibrancy to it because every one of them is based off of an image from somewhere and um yeah when I when I connect with your art I think that's something that I I think back to a lot is is all those connections with like going out and being inspired and consciously sitting with it consciously bringing the connection together which I think is the really probably the goal when you're dealing with particularly the types of businesses you're trying to reach out to you're dealing with people who specifically work with connection and energy you know, yeah, we're, we're trying to align energy. We're trying to consciously connect energies across the board. So I really love that you're making imagery that is speaking on a, you know, out to the social media world that is yeah. a little more aligning with what we're actually trying to divine out here and what we're manifesting. So thank you for that. Yeah. You're uh, welcome. I mean, I was seeing like the minute I started posting the AI art I was making, it was like my engagement skyrocketed. Like, I mean, this stuff I love and people love, but I wasn't getting a lot of engagement, you know, and the AI art, like all of a sudden, like I was just getting tons and tons and tons of likes and comments. And it was like, okay, there's a message there, you know, like people are really resonating with this. It's, I mean, the way that mid journey were, you know, has set up is to be very soulful in its creations. Like I heard the founder talking about that. So there's a, there's a very, there's a very human yet etheric energy that comes. I mean, there's other AI generators that don't do what mid journey does, you know, like it, this is the tool and I am really, I like to take my tools to the limits, right? Like I like to see what I can do with them and you know, how far I can push them and how can I make them my own? And, um, you know, I mean like this, I, I made with an iPhone, you know, so it's like I and I use a plastic camera and some of my other work and I use these 
unusual filters. So I'm always like stretching and exploring. Cool. So I love that. Yeah. Yeah. So the work was very much resonated with people in a way I'd never seen before. And that was a huge, that was huge. And, and my community on social media is healers and coaches and people connecting people. And like you were talking about that, the energetics of, of life and connection. I mean, that's just, those are my people that I resonate with and that I've been playing with. And you know, I buy their products, I'm in their communities. And I'd always wanted to find a way to connect professionally and serve professionally. And I have tried a few different things, you know, since quarantine, because that's really, I think, when I jumped more into social media in that way. Oh. Um, and this, this is the thing, like, this is what really stuck and what people are saying yes to. And so it's a very synergistic, synergistic, um, growth and experience and support and it it's like it feels good like they're supporting me by paying me and supporting my business and I'm supporting them by giving them this art that's helping them communicate their business it's like this yeah. and I believe in their business it's so it's it's like serve the people you love one of my coaches said you know serve the people you want to play with and this is it I've heard so much in your words. Uh, I love this phrase. You teach what you need to learn. Um, and I've heard so much of that in, in what you've spoken about here. Um, and I, I just feel that myself. I watch, I watch myself walk into things and be like, I want to learn that. I need to teach it. I don't know why I need to teach it, <laughs> but apparently I do <laughs> in order to do that. And it, it yeah. always, it's because that's how you throw yourself into something is by learning it to the ability of teaching it. And, um, and I think that that's really an interesting kind of place for you to be in right now is, is just kind of unfolding where you're at. And mm -hmm. that's really beautiful. Do you have any direct ideas for where this is going over the next six months to the next year or farther? Um, I want to grow the membership, like thousands of people. Like I want to be the magical AI art source, you know, like I just, there's a lot of, um, when I first started, I noticed there was, there's some negativity, there's skepticism, there's worry around AI art in the art world. And it just, I don't know, like, I love it. And I'm going full force and I'm just working with what's available. You know, I mean, there's some new copyright laws are being written. Um, there's, there's like, it's, this is a brand new technology and a brand new exploration for everyone. And I am riding the wave in a positive way like to me I I love it and um and I'm being very transparent you know in the add-ons when I'm like you can hire me to make a AI custom art logo but you know mid-journey has usage rights you know and and they have limits on nfts like it's like I'm totally transparent about what we can do together within the context of the new technology that it's even learning, you know, how to create its own boundaries. Yeah. But I mean, for me, I would love to be, um, I would love to have just thousands of members. Um, I, I already have two associate artists, so I'd like to support, you know, more artists, um, um, you know, be like kind of a magical content go to place like um talking to a friend who does brand strategy she wants to be a part of it to offer her service um what else definitely so in the next few months as i grow um i i want to redo the website um to really put the backbone in it like a stock site you know like the bigger stock to really handle the growth and the um automation and the ease of use um, but I'd love to have a merchandise shop. Okay. So check this out. I'm still formulating it, but I'd love to. So let's say you're a coach, you're in the membership and you want to make some like journals, you know, some merchandise, some journals, some candles, maybe a yoga mat with, um, this magical AI art that, um, expresses your business vibe. Um, I want to see if I can make it so you can use the artwork to create merchandise and have your own little shop 
like inside the membership so that the membership is taking care of the print on demand, um, the shipping, the everything. And as the coach, you're just put your mark up on it and then you have your link it's almost like a little bit like your own little etsy shop like here um i was a photographer a professional photographer yeah. for 12 years and obviously i'm still a photographer yeah. because i don't think that ever dies in you but <laughs> um but um when i was a professional and i actually still use it smug mug have you ever heard of them i have yeah I use them and um when i sold my photos back in the day they're a really good platform i'd be happy to share with you my account you well i don't have the paid membership anymore but you can still poke yeah. around i have a paid membership i don't have the membership where you sell photos anymore but um yeah. i told, you know it's a decent area to poke around and get your view of of like where you want to take things so we can definitely yeah. chat about that it's um yeah you know, there's so much inspiration out there and there's no reason you have to reinvent the wheel uh, I think that's the neat thing about the generation we're in right now, which I think is why you get to use AI in your art is yeah. because someone else yeah. has put so much work into life yeah. and this is something they were passionate about and yeah. you are being triggered and inspired by that and, and you get to bring it forward and brought into new life. And I think that's really ultimately what we are absolutely here to do with one another is, is sort of step each other forward in life and walk each other home. Yes. Oh, yeah. I love that. Yeah. And I would definitely think, I mean, I've listened to the founder of Mid Journey speak a bunch of times. He does open um, Q&As and stuff like that on Discord. And he, I, you know, that kind of mirrors what he was saying at one time. You know, I think he, he, him and his team created something really amazing that's resonating with so many people. It's just, yeah. it's really beautiful and inspiring. There's so much cool stuff happening. So many people using it as art therapy, being able to create visually for the first time they never could because they'd never considered themselves artists, getting visions out of their head onto, you know, an image. Like it's just been amazing to witness people connecting. I mean, the whole art therapy piece, like I didn't even ponder that one until I saw you know, some posts in one of the groups, you know, it was, it's amazing. I think, I think I've had more than one occasion where, um, as a poet, uh, I'll be writing something and then I might peruse something that you post. And it's almost like it was done that same day with my intention, you know, crossed over yeah. into it. And I've just loved that because yeah, because that's the whole point, right. Is, is to see yes. ourselves in each other. And yes. Um, oh, yes. Which reminds me, there's a poet in the membership and she just wanted to use the art to post with her poems, like on her Instagram. Right. I mean, yeah. So smart. Right. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm still figuring out how I have long form poetry. Almost everything I write is super long and it doesn't really work as well with social media. So I'm still trying to figure out where I land and all of that, but you know. yeah, that's brilliant because, uh, I, I sell some of mine, um, in posters 11 by 17 inch posters and um, yeah you could join the membership on the resale me the resale membership tier and then you could just make your post you could make the art with the oh, words and you have a whole product and a ton of time <laughs> i make everything by hand yeah. everything it's ridiculous uh, I can stop <laughs> <laughs> There's not yeah. enough hours in the day to do everything from scratch, <laughs> but that's the point. You know, we're, we're yeah. at an era where we get to share and build upon a pet where other people are. And, mm -hmm. and there's a collaboration in that and a community in that, that I think is beckoning forth right now. And thank you COVID for that in so many ways, as hard as I, it is. Look I at know. how much we've united. Look I at know. how much we've grown. Oh my, <laughs> we've also grown. And so it's just been, um, I think that's really what inspires me to reach out and that's what, you know, we're doing here and um, what we're going to keep doing in all of our video chats with other people as well. But I'm really excited to keep talking with you about where you take this. Can you drop the website for us? Yes. Are you wanting me to put it in this, in the Zoom chat? Why don't you just tell us right now um, what it is? And then I'm also going to include it when we do the formal write up on it. Okay. okay. So um, it's, it's a little bit of a thing. It's, um, so it's MCM for Magical Content Membership. So mcm.rebeccatolk.com slash join. Cool. Okay. We'll make sure it's a bit of a, it's, 
Yeah, we'll put it in there. Yeah, that's the um, that's the twenty nine dollar membership. If you know you just want to jump in, it's twenty nine a month. If you want to just try out the sample gallery, I mean, I'll give you both links. It's the same beginning, but except for join its sampler Wonderful. at the end. So, if you just go to Rebecca's two. both version of that, will, will, you, will you be able to see anything from you? Yeah, yes. if you just if you just go to my main website, RebeccaTolk.com, and the top right, there's a join membership button. Wonderful. That's mm-hmm. awesome. Very easy. <laughs> wonderful. Yeah, we'll get you. Yeah, we'll get people connecting with you that way. That would just be a wonderful gift to unite more people into this. Mm-hmm. And I know I have a lot of viewers on my stream as well, so it's definitely a good a good place to share. Um, um, is there anything you. else that you would like to share about this wonderful journey you're on? Um, I don't know. I think you've shared a lot and you've definitely asked some really great questions, which inspired some great ex- exploration into answers. So I feel pretty good. I'm, um, no, nothing's coming through. I feel good about it. Thank you for, for talking with me and being so interested and, being a fan and a follower I really appreciate it it's been fun getting to know you through that so thank you for for inviting me here I really appreciate it thank you for coming and thanks for sharing yourself with the world and with me and our engagements over this last year that we've been kind of hanging out around each other on on Facebook and yeah I'm really really excited for your magical stock imagery that you're bringing forth and sparing your soul with people really changes other people too so thank you for that ripple that you're sending out in the world and i'm really excited to tell more Mm. people about you so thank you and bless you oh thank you oh thank you i hope you have a wonderful day rebecca and i can't wait to tell more people about what you're doing with your magical artwork Mm. thank you bless you and have a great day If you would like to know more about Rebecca Tolk's Magical Content Membership, please go to www.rebeccatolk.com forward slash MCM. Zebra Remedies is operated by independent humanitarian activists like myself, my life partner Kevin, and my closest friend Jen. You can support our channel, efforts, and global communities and yourself by buying a jar of damage control, pain, and injury support lotion or by subscribing to our Patreon.